All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome. We're prepping for the Pro Tour, which is happening this weekend. Pro Tour Chicago, Pro Tour Murders of Karlov Manor. It's Pioneer. It's Draft. So it's time to check out some uh, some Pioneer stuff. we are playing uh, some of the bigger decks in the format as I prep for this, and the biggest one is really Blue White Control. It's funny. I've always kind of hated Blue White Control in Pioneer. I always felt it was a little too underpowered, a little too finicky, and had to work really, really hard to win. It wasn't quite all the way there. Well. I'm going to stop telling lies, because no more lies is here. This card has kind of changed everything. Blue-white instant mana leak with upside is everything that could have ever wanted, as far as a flexible counterspell early goes. Uh, that problem is not having the right answer on turn two or three and things snowballing. Well, this card this card kind of handles that for you. So we got no more lies here, which is obviously huge, and uh, kind of joins a great supporting cast. The fairy here of Dominaria, the real draw here, as a, a insane card draw engine. Plays great with no more lies also. Untap it of two mana. Wandering Emperor, another good Planeswalker here. Great Red Master removal and Supreme Verdict, and then, of course, Temporary Lockdown, which is a really powerful card in the format, honestly. This card's really, really been... Stocks going up in this card for uh, for a while now. We got some uh, other counter spells, Dovin's Veto, and uh, I guess the other removal spells here doing Get Lost, another new one. And then we have uh, Howl of Moonlight in the main deck. Kind of cool, honestly. Puzzle Ball gets a lot of different things, and uh, good against tokens also as well. Cantrip, Nice. Deluge, Shark Typhoon, you get the idea. Lands are great. Anchorage, Field of Ruin, and Friends also. Cyborg's got a whole bunch of good stuff in it. I gotta go over all of them. You know what they all do. So, let's get right to the games and uh, do what we can do here. Brought to you by... Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. All right. On the play, rock and roll. Hand is bad. Uh, so we're on the play with two deserted beaches and no other lands. So both lands come in tapped and then no third land, obviously. Got a mulligan here, unfortunately. We're going to mulligan into uh, a better hand. We've got some better lands and then... Uh, Two Teferis, we're going to keep this, it's not great. Dump it to Ferry and then hope we uh, kind of just draw out of this and figure out uh, how it goes here. So, all fountain tapped. And ship it. Got our Ardenvale, Odawara, Field of Ruin. Hive of the Eye Tyrant, sure. And a Hull Moonlight is here. It's not ideal, but it's fine. Henge Gate Pathway, just play the Ardenvale. No choice yet on Pathway, and just say go. Obviously, we're uh, not doing too great here as far as Moonlight goes. This is an Ever Creature ETB. Uh, if it wasn't cast, exile it and draw a card instead. Or, I'm sorry, exile it instead and then draw a card. I'm just saying words. Uh, it's fine. Don't want to cantrip this. Mono Black, most likely, is no other card. Play this. Could be Waste Knot. Could be just like a mid range deck. I'm just like with Hollow Moonlight, I think. We're not going to find too many good targets for that. They're playing Fable the Merbaker, maybe, but there's a Wandering Emperor, sure. And we're going to. Draw no more lies. Awesome. So now I got a counter spell. And then if I don't do anything, we can just feel the ruin the hive of the eye tyrant. Get a little value there. Aetherborn, obviously, essentially a grizzly bear against us. So I love this card, you know? It's all right. It has its place, but we're going to see land gifted Aetherborn. Um, this is fine. We have the Emperor to eat one of these at some point. I don't think we're wasting our counter spell on that. So end step, we're going to eat this Hive of the Eye Tyrant now. Spend our mana. Probably get an Island. We got five cards in hand. Hopefully a lot of dead removal spells. Hopefully they have like seven Fatal Pushes. And we draw Supreme Verdict. That plays. Um, okay. We're going to play, I think just Planes and say Go. I think our goal is going to be uh, take a hit and then Emperor end step plus it and then untap in Verdict maybe. Uh, we have the uh, Teferi also. Let's see what's up here. We might just, uh, just Wandering Emperor end step defend our Teferi. Let's see what happens here. We could have guessed Verdict, but like, I don't know. I'm not sure exactly what they're doing, honestly. So, Castle Lockthway. It's a good one. And they're going to Thought Seize. That's not ideal. Uh, this is going to resolve. Teferi's our most important card. We're probably going to take it here, unfortunately. This does allow us to run our Emperor into Verdict play. Emperor plus Verdict minus. Does leave us defenseless, though, as time goes on. Teferi's a big port, big part of the equation here as a way to have draw cards. Now they have a Castle Lockway, things change a little bit. I don't think we were too hasty on our Field of Ruin, honestly. Maybe we were, though. 
Take the ferry. And then we're going to see a sign in blood to draw two cards. Sure. That's... F I could just... Anyway. Hmm. All right. This is fine. We're going to allow it. No more lies. That's getting worse as the game goes on. But I like the idea of getting the Emperor in play now and then inverted things. So, and so it's Emperor. And we're going to plus it. Untap and cast Verdict. And then make a token. Get lost, eh? Sure. We're going Shields down here, but we have a, other things going on. So do that. Make a token and just say go. Also, with Castle in play, we have like a little more incentivized to want to pressure their life total. So, Field of Ruin of their own. What like perfectly designed magic card Field of Ruin is. Invoke Despair. That's funny. Uh, all right, it's like we're playing standard again. So they get the Emperor and the token, and they get the draw a card, which almost isn't even that bad for us. And tap, Hollow Fountain, sure. Uh, just gonna play this tap, it's a go. Need a little help here. We need a Deluge, uh, or a Teferi. We need some, card, some sort of card to get things going, because they are obviously way up on guards right now. And as the control deck, we're not very happy about that. All right, so I'm just gonna say go. Probably gonna tag my, uh, oops. That's the wrong button. I'm gonna tag my Arden Veil here after I make a token. Looks like it. Go get a uh, planes, I guess. So make our token. They have five cards and lock the way. They want to start drawing cards. It's gonna cost them a lot of life. So it's not the fairy, unfortunately. Fairy or Deluge is the big, uh, the big crux, crux that we're drawing to here. All right, so let's tap, say go. Shark Typhoon, something, anything. End step, Ta Cycle Taka Numa, sure. And uh, they didn't hit much, so it's just Aetherborn, sure. I think we can handle one gifted Aetherborn, it's not that big of a deal. If you're Deadlands, sure. Shoulder the Apocalypse. Yeah, sure, whatever. I'm getting combat. All right, so we're just gonna get lost this. Not if our, they're going to play, they're playing around our, our No More Lies. It was in our hand, obviously, because they know about it, which kind of sucks, but it's possible I should have just cashed it on the uh, Sign of Blood, honestly. It might have been, might have been better. All right, come on. Help me out. That does not help. All right. These maps we gave him are, uh, you know, pretty nice on that Aetherborn. Got to keep things going here. Shoulder it again. Mm -hmm. He's got me. Fire up the map, sure. Explore swamp. Fire up the map. It's a fatal push. Gonna bin that one. Yeah, I mean, they have four cards in hand. We're like not. I mean, trying to deluge. We're not in bad shape at all. We're gonna take two off a shield and just vertic it away. There we go. That's what we're looking for. All right, so. We can deluge and try and find a land and then cast Verdict. That's pretty uh, pretty risky, though. I'm kind of rather just take two spells anyway. So just cast this Verdict. So there you go. Even in the worst case scenario, them thoughts using our deluge, which is like a flashback anyway. So just there you go. We're 10 to 20. Deluge is a big, big deal. Graveyard Trespasser. Well, good thing we didn't just cast this deluge, huh? So now it might be the spot we want to like end step this and then maybe flush it back immediately. I don't know. So they're gonna hit an Aetherborn. Play on Aetherborn. This, this don't more lies. Yeah, I think I played this no more lies really badly. Uh yeah, sure. Okay. So let's uh let's see what we draw. Dovin's veto, not so good here either. Um I think we're in the unenviable position to main phase of Miss Deluge. Looking for an answer for Trespassers. I don't want to lose it, obviously. We find Deduce, another Deluge, and Dig Through Time. Dig's kind of gassier, actually. Assuming we don't, as long as we don't die. So let's take Dig and take another Deluge. It's not land, is it? Um, honestly, maybe it's just land. So we can dig for a Get Lost. All right, let's do that. And then let's uh, 
Just cast the dig. Yeah. Just try and find get lost to get rid of this trespasser. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Blue, blue. Do you love me a good dig through time? We find... Oh, man. What a brick city. All right. I guess. Um... I mean, Field of Ruin answering the Lockthwain's kind of cute. Deduce is fine, too, I guess. We can't stop this stupid Trespasser. It's embarrassing. All right, take Shark Typhoon. So we're going to lose our Deluge, which stinks, but... Say go. We're going to take five. Go to four. Yeah, it's getting rather precarious here, I'm not going to lie. Alright, so we're going to exile the Deluge. Smart. Very smart. Twenty-three to four. Ready to make that big comeback. Here we go. Here's a deduce. Another no more lies. Not so good. Uh unzap and draw a pathway. Also not so good. Alright, how about a clue crack? Dobins. <laughs> <laughs> this is the problem the control deck can have for sure. Uh, just not finding the right answers at the right times. Um, it's nighttime too. Damn. Uh, all right, cycle shark typhoon for one. Really, 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 live it on the edge here. I guess we can draw a verdict. Right, I've guessed what one verdict so far. I guess two Rodic so far. I'll just do it. Sure. Cycle for one. It's ordering anyway to survive, so cycle for one. Draw. Draw. It's a fairy. Yeah, tough game. Tough audience. Alright. So you go. End step fatal push. Dovin's Vita. Staying alive. Not to Deadlands, but... No, we're checking out the next game. That's fine. They have Deadlands to kill it anyway, so... Top first game, honestly. Uh, the Mulligan and then the Hand just kind of didn't line up super well, so... Gonna bring in our Seed Sharks. Uh, maybe the Shark Typhoon. Uh, Starheim Unleash is great against these Thoughtseize decks. Lockdown, not so good against them. Farewell... Doesn't seem great either, honestly. I would say these Dovin's Vetoes aren't particularly exciting. Uh, take out at least some of those. Farewell. I mean, I mean the Moonlights of the Lockdowns are bad too, honestly, so... Yeah. Moonlight doesn't really do anything, yeah, so... Don't want another Farewell? Maybe. Rest in Peace Lockdown, Narset Dispute, Summary Dismissal. Could just leave in a Veto. I think Veto's, like, fine against them. That's not the worst. Take these. It's working, man. Let's do this. Alright, uh... Again, kind of an ugly hand. Just two lands, just two lands, not much to really do, or ways to find lands. Got a mulligan again. Jeez. All right, mulligan again. Into a better hand. And keep this. Not ideal. Dump the uh, the farewell. And just like, sort of try and do our thing here. Maybe our opponent, our opponent will join us for a mulligan. That'd be nice. First of all, folks, the follow button. I guess you're not. It's straight to YouTube, but whatever. <laughs> you say, just used to saying stuff. Um, hit, hit, the, hit the like button. Please support the content. You're not cheer me out at the Pro Tour. Best way to do is hit the like button, honestly. So keep this. Uh, ship farewell. And uh, all right. Restless Anchorage. Say go. Yeah. Just a little, just a little burb hiding in an entire freaking island. Thought sees you got it. So 
Her hand's like pretty bad, honestly. It's not even that, like, it's the shark typhoon, maybe? I don't even know. But. Take the march. We draw a verdict. Now I'm gonna wrap a counter spell in like that. Just do your thing. Play Swamp and Gifted Aetherborn. Very powerful. All right, so untap and draw a another Hollowed Fountain. Don't love it, but sure. I think it's always important to know that our opponent played that last game very well. Also, uh, just did a really good job, like making our counter spells bad, picking all the right spots, uh, which is very, very important to get these control decks. Aetherborn number two. Right. Uh, sure. Just gonna fire up a verdict, right? Just like take our two for one. We're obviously on the mulligan, which sucks. So like we're down a card. Uh, so like the two for one's not that good, but like they're up on cards right now. They have five cards to my three. Once they play land, all four. But bank busters, pretty good. But they miss a land drop. We draw a field of ruin. I think making a three three is a reasonable course of action. Uh, then missing a land drop is pretty huge for us, honestly, because it makes our bank busters that much worse. They're going to bust, draw a card, and play a hive. So, 3-3 three, three Shark. Much better post board when the Fatal Pushes are out, so... Second 2 for 1. We draw Farewell. It's not bad, honestly, with the Bank Buster there. Deduce. I'm just going to cast this and try and draw a... Uh, I'm going to draw a Lando. I'm going to draw No More Lies instead. All right. In for three. And I'm uh, just going to say go. Yeah, we can field this hive, but maybe we should be a little more uh, a little more patient with it because cast locked lands in the equation. Here's another card off Bank Buster. Play a Swamp. Six cards in hand. Graveyard Trespasser. This is a card that I want to cast No More Lies on. I think it is. We don't want, our, I want this card to go dead as it did last game because she goes dead later in the game. So I'm just going to counter it. Untab, keep attacking, drop our clue. It could be frisky with the anchorage here. We're feeling, we're feeling really frisky. Uh, we draw land too. Yeah, we should get out the anchorage too, I think. Just tapped out, safe to go. Here comes the anchorage. Just chip in. There aren't a lot of like actual counter spells in this deck. You know, there are there's no cancels or anything like that, absorbs or whatever. So it's just like the Vivitos and the No More Lies. So get in. Play a land, say go. I'm going to leave up our clue and then our, like, you know, potential counter spell. Probably not, but what do they know, you know? Let's have four for shielded. That is going to draw out a clue token for me. Draw off the clue. And then we might end up uh, get losting this in our upkeep. We'll see what we draw. Or I'm sorry, I guess I think we never mind. Um. Yeah, I think we're in. I'm just going to cast Get Lost here. Get Lost. Give them their maps. And draw off the buster. It's fun. So they get a little bit of life here and a pile token. We draw a Wandering Emperor. Not a bad pickup, actually. So let's play Anchorage. No more first get to action. Attack for three. And say go. Yeah, that's it. They're still up on cards. They, you know, they emptied a full bank buster and, of course, he mulliganed. So, we mulliganed and we were in the play. So, they are up a number of cards on us. You know, still kind of looking for that Teferi or Deluge effect. Crew in the bank buster. And I'm going to start the mapping experience. Hit a thought seat. Keep a Thoughtseize on top. Sure. So they have a Thoughtseize coming next turn. Which is a little iffy. Uh, might have made me more inclined to just fire up the Wandering Emperor. If they have a, a, a what's it called though, an Invoke Despair, it's like kind of bad for us. Uh, if Thoughtseize next turn though, let's take five.
It's funny how Wandering Emperor is like almost a counter to Invoke Despair. Sign in Blood? They get Thoughts easier too? Damn. We're losing to the Gifted Aether Warden deck with our control deck. This is uh, it's kind of embarrassing. Alright, so... Cast Emperor. Just going to minus it. Tag the uh, Bank Buster. Actually, I'm sorry. We'll do nothing. There's no reason to do anything with it yet. Let him resolve Thoughtseize. Neither of these cards are particularly great right now. Goodbye, Supreme Verdict. Sacrifice a Planeswalker. That's, like, fine, right? Like, just two for one, so... I guess the Bank Buster drew a bunch of cards, but... All right, so they're at seven life. Ivy's Anchorages, too. Might just get frisky, honestly. We have lethal if they have nothing, in theory. We draw land. We did not draw land, but... All right. Um, I'm in. Anchorage. Kind of want map. Yeah, I should have missed first. Well, map. Poor sequencing. Not a lot was going on here, honestly, but Shoulders Edict is very, very good against they have they have bitter triumph. That's fine also. Alright, so just gonna attack and make our map and get in for two. Put them down to five. Get a map again, so nothing else going on. Find it a Ganjo. My plan I can play a land here. So with, with, with two anchorages in play, I'm just down to just play a land so go, so. They know farewell, but I don't know Wandering Emperor. You know, thoughts is me again. Got into three. That'd be bold. Oh, you got a map. Play a swamp. The mismatch swamps, huh? Invoke despair. <laughs> this is just a lava axe, and they draw three. Which is, like, good, obviously, but... Pile comes in for one, and no mapping. It's important to note they didn't map. I was gonna say go. Interesting. We untap. We got four cards in hand. We draw an island. So we are a little flooded. Not gonna lie. Uh, but play an island. And what costs three? They chose not to map. We have two anchorages here. But if they kill one, it kind of sucks. I was just say go. Just leave, up and leave, up, and leave up emperor. We have field of room for the hives. This game's getting a little tight now too. So I'm just say go. Let's see what the deal is. They are different Lord of the Rings lands, in case you were wondering. Here comes the pilot. It's funny, I I think I'm inclined to just play the Emperor and make a blocker. Like, they have five cards in hand. And it, it would soak up and invoke despair, which is pretty cool. And like, if we end step it, they're going to play something else for sure, too. This is fun. Sort of like make them kill the blocker, you know? Make it 2-2. Two, two. Urborg. All right, we're going to block. Cool. Invoke Despair again. Yeah, it's fun. Oh, this isn't even that bad. Like, so we, we soak up the Invoke Despair with the Wandering Emperor, which is what Wandering Emperor does really well, honestly. It's like trades Invoke Despair for an Emperor and they draw a card for a five mana sorcery. It's not too bad. And then we're just going to feel this thing now because uh, at this point in the game, I don't want to be able to just kind of use my mana efficiently, I think. I fire up both Anchorages next turn and not have to deal with the, the reprise of the uh, thing. So get a land. And if it's not the fairy or deluge, we're getting in. It's deduce. Right in the middle. Uh three and three with two left over. Almost assuredly have removal because they left mana at both turns, didn't use their map and stuff. 
I'm just gonna deduce. Draw a card. It's a fairy. Ooh, boy. Starheim Unleash is kind of gross. Uh, that's going to win the game. Let's draw a card. And Island, sure. Play an Island. I'm going to fire up one of these. Let's see what happens. It's probably going to kill it, but whatever, I think. We're about to storm, there's a foretell this and just make 10 angels and kill them, so... Unless they have a third copy of, uh, let's see, they, they discard a Thoughtseize here. Unless they have a third copy of Fortel's any point during your turn, right? Does Fortel work? During your turn, you pay two and exile this card. Yeah, anyway, so you can do this now. So just Fortel this now. Unless they have the third case copy of Invoke Despair, uh, I think we're golden here. That would exactly kill us, so that would suck. But. So yes, yeah, so we got Starheim for uh, one, two, three, four angels next turn. Don't do it. Ooh, that's bad too, I guess. All right, your shoulder. We do have our farewell. Which they know about, I think, right? They map and... and... <sighs> oh my god. All right, well... They've played well and hit all their spots. Their top card is Invoke Despair. And uh, there you have it, Liliana also. So uh, that will do it. Uh, unless the top card of our library is exceedingly good. Um, all right. Untap and draw a planes. That is not exceedingly good. It's just a planes. So I guess you got me. All right. Tough games. What are you going to do? All right. We are on the draw with a uh, pretty uneven hand. Uh, we're going to keep. It's not great, but try and make it work. Maldaren Epicure, so some sort of Ensoul Artifact deck. And uh, I draw Supreme Verdict, sure. So hand is, you know, not great. They have a turn two Ensoul Artifact. I guess we have to get lost, which is fine. Giving them more artifacts, not always ideal, but... I like the hugest fan of his card. It's obviously fine, it's pretty versatile and stuff, but... More controlling decks, like, giving them the maps and stuff. Like, the last opponent was able to just, you know, draw a few extra lands with the maps and stuff, and... It's not ideal. So I have a solar artifact too, sure. So we take a bunch. Should I get Lost while I tapped out? Hollowed Moonlight. That doesn't really do a ton here. Don't want them to Metallic Rebuke me or Stubborn Denial me. So kill that. Give us some more maps. They have another one. Obviously, they just put it on the map. And that's kind of shitty for us. But is it what it is? The old scissors. Too often, some self-described genius comes up with a labor-saving device that ends up creating far more work. Lord of the Rings Island. Fagondo. And they're going to buy Gigantha? That is, that is some turn three, my friends. You got it. All right, so their hand is obviously not super uh, effective, but still, like, you know, if their hand's a couple Shadow Blasts, we're just kind of dead here, so. Play Lance, they go. Uh, intent to cycle the Moonlight. Got all these maps going on. Six cards and it has a lot of cards. It's so many. Attack for one. Yeah, sure. Dovey's wandering at Bruce can gain a little life here. They shock and say go. Yeah, I am I am terrified for double shot bust. I'm pretty sure they uh that's what they have. You gonna draw a card. I'm tapped out, I got fire's blast off. 
No, okay. And I'm just gonna say go. Probably gonna attempt to Emperor gain two life if given the option. End step, we're gonna see a a Sokazan. So that kind of changes the uh, the equation a bit as to why they take go at four mana up. Their hand's like kind of bad, but at the same time, like we're in trouble too, which is not a not a great combination. Uh, but sure. Spy Glass Siren. So we have his verdict, which we're interested in. Um, play Land Shock. Reckless Bushwhacker. That's kind of an issue. Uh, yeah. Well, it's a defensive Wandering Emperor, unfortunately, but. Again, I'm pretty sure we're dying a trap last year, but it's Emperor minus on the Whacker. Gain to take eight. Yep, told you. All right. So, uh, I mean, their draw ended up being like okay at the end, but obviously it was like they, they bought Gigantha in turn three, but still got stomped. It's not a very good sign. Um, lockdowns and staying against them, obviously, as is farewell. They have counter spells. Let's see, these are interesting. And then, um, Mystical Dispute. Maybe. Seed Shark also, maybe. Uh, I would say that these Hollow Moonlights are once again pretty bad. Um, Dovid's Veto is, like, not great. It obviously can answer some of their things, but, like, not particularly well. Dispute answers the Insole Artifacts cards better. Cancer Shot and Blast, that's, that's a thing, but um, definitely want to take out at least like two of these, maybe. Maybe shave like something clunky. Second Fair Album, well, it might be too much, honestly. I guess Violence do this. Give us a spin. Alright, on the plight. Kill him here. All right. Uh, Mulligan into extremely awkward hand, but sure. Uh, we got three tap lands. Gonna say go. Epicure. Dink you. All right, untap and draw a Wandering Emperor. Not ideal. So, the double tap land draw, you have free reign on turn two to Insole Artifact me again. As you saw in that first game too, like, just if you just get a five ball with the Insole Artifact, you know, and the shot the buzz, that gets pretty good. So, looks like they don't have it though. That's nice. So, tie for one. And a Siren. Okay. Leaving up a blue. And not mapping or blooding. Interesting to note. So, draw a land, which is good for us. It helps our prospects a little bit. And then we get to say go with no more lies up and deduce and shark typhoon. They're making out one ones kind of on the equation. Shiv and Reef, old school. And soul artifact. All right. So, they definitely have a, a mystical dispute here. That's fine, I guess. So we no more lies it, they mystical dispute. We can untap and land and wandering emperor while we're tapped out. It's not ideal, but is it or it is, I suppose. Some more lies. An occasional lie here and there. <laughs> so Lies have been had. Take seven, go to eleven. We're gonna untap and cast the emperor while we're tapped out. And just Guarantee we kill this thing. Or, or, hear me out. <laughs> Bingo! We just cast temporary right. lockdown and remove everything. Uh, that's even better. All right, cool. Lock it down. This is the card. This is the card that really uh, makes blue-white kind of nasty against everything. Uh, this card just catches so many decks so well. 
like that was everything for three mana, you know. Even the uh, the fancy stuff. All right, Epicure. Take one down to ten. Gotta think it through. Siren. All right. One card left. Will they use the map or no? They will. So, top card is Combat Courier. Good card to put in the bin, honestly. It has Unearth. Kind of adorable, actually. Unzap and draw a deserted beach. So, one card in end. We got some mana. We got some things to do. Um, even the Arden Bell is not bad here. Three three Shark Typhoons probably in the uh, in the cards to block this Spyglass Siren. Makes pretty good body. Want to keep our life total above five at all costs. One blue to unearth. This guy should be a clue. Sorry, I don't make the rules, but should be a clue. Courier is in. The attacks are in. Crank the shark. They have two cards in end. It's a 3-3. Three, three. Make my blocks. Down to eight, but this game's looking much better for us, obviously. Gonna crack this courier and draw a card. Gonna crack your clue. Looks like it. Temporary lockdown again. We're already kind of locked down at this point, so I don't think we really need that one. Uh, let's play a land. We have Emperor and Deuce. I think we can attack here. We can even just Arden Veil and Blah. Eh, it's a lot of mana. Let's see. They attack. It's probably just Emperor make a token. Let's see what they do. Gleeful Demolition. That is fine. They have a whacker too. That would make me very, very sad. Oh my god. I'm so sad. Alright. Uh, I guess we are still alive, technically. I could have drawn a card. I could draw a card there for I should draw a card. Yeah, let's see if I draw a counter spell. That was stupid. Because I obviously we have the Emperor here, but like countering the bat the whacker is much better. I place it a spell pierce, so if they have that, they have that, whatever, you know, kind of thing. So eat this. So ten to two. We have not succeeded in our mission of staying above uh five life. End step deduce. All right, so if I had done that, I would have died. So if I if I didn't if I didn't draw a thing, so there's the deuce, and we're gonna untap, and we're gonna draw a Otawara. All right, attack for three, a lockdown. I should have plus the shark. So I'm not, I'm not making a token here. I don't think. Um, I'm gonna keep my I'm keep this thing around. Yeah, sure. So that's awkward, but um, so missed a point. Lock it down again. And plus this. And given that I'm... I was going to play this. See if the anchor should be able to block if necessary. Alright. Keep the ball rolling. Here's a siren. Buy Gigantha and say go. All right. Unzap and draw a Farewell. So we could play Farewell on creatures and artifacts. No, we're going to chill. Just going to make a 2-2 two -two and say go. We have the Anchorage to block this thing. Try again to go land Gigantha and then cast Farewell. Pretty well concealed, honestly, so... Rohan! The mouth of the Anduin. The white mountains. The dead marshes. 
Share the load, share the load, the load, the load, the load. What's up, friend? How's it going, Mikey? Spell Pierce Mikey. Spell Pierce McGee. I will take the ring to Mordor. I'll do it. Yeah, no problem. Whatever. Just carry this thing. Here's Combat Courier. They can sack it and unearth it. It's kind of cute. All right, sack the courier, draw a card. It's a clue. L E the clues. Can't tell me differently. Three cards in hand's a decent amount. Couldn't get them to play this uh, Gigantha, unfortunately, but. Tanking. Lethal Demolition. Alright, I guess that might be Farewell Time. That sucks. Make a token. Untap. Really don't want a farewell on creatures here, I'm not gonna lie. Um, they have a courier to unearth too. We show creatures graveyards. Yeah, that sucks, but I guess. Two cards left. I'm feeling unearth combat courier, shrapnel blast me. That's what I'm feeling. All right, so farewell. I'm gonna cast it. Exile all creatures and all graveyards. Definitely not all enchantments. That's for damn sure. All right, you're all you. You go away. Get it. So you get, get out of here. Nothing. You lose. Good Let's day. Play an artifact and shrapnel blast me here, please. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not. My, my I feel like my my opinion on the. Oh no. How do you play the classiest land of all time against the class lastless land of all time? Here's Gigantha. I'm not gonna lie, I'm uh my feelings towards blue white, even with the new cards, has not been really uh changed here too much. Um deck feels kind of as mopey and mid as ever. Um lockdown's really good, but like they're still in this game. We we could definitely lose this game just by guessing two lockdowns. It's, it's insane, you know? Verdict, sure. Alright, verdict's fine. Play verdicts, make a token, say go. Or ten. My inclined to want to just like fire the anchorage in. We have a blocker for a bushwhacker. Yeah, I think I do actually. There are ten. We gotta close this game out. Let's make sure we get this right. Actually, this certainly uh you know this is a two this turn could be a bunch of six next turn. Actually, it could be lethal next turn if I fire up both anchorages right. So I need a, I need a land too. But all right, don't kill me. I guess. Is the double lockdown game good enough? I would like it to be. That is the idea. We draw land. Don't want to use that one, though. Uh, three, activate, three, activate. It's one short, uh, which makes me less inclined to want to do it. Yeah, I'm just going to plus here. Map here. Mystical Dispute, we can bend that one. And then we'll just fire up this bad boy. And, yeah, can't shock in the land, obviously, because that would kill us, so. Attack, I guess like we're leaving ourselves dead to a hasted flyer, I guess they have like a bushwhacker and something else, but I think it's fine. All right, so, we're gonna map again. Time is the Supreme Verdict. Bin that one too. Let's say go. Can't wait. Just let me go. Artifact Trap Blast. Just do it. Artifact Trap Blast. Put me out of my misery over here. Bushwhacker. They have two Bushwhackers. Oh, that would suck. <sighs> Woo! Alright. Game three. Uh. 
It's funny. Sea Shark doesn't seem too bad, honestly. Just like jam a Sea Shark. As they have disputes and stuff, it's not great. Uh, shark Typhoon, also not the worst. Spell Pierce is tough. That card's pretty good against us, but... Hmm. Stamp out. Run it back. All right. Let's try and get it. We're on the draw. And we got... Pretty good hand. He can keep us. No more lies into lockdown, into verdict, into it's ferry. It's pretty good. Old Gigantha hanging out. Opponents on the play. They keep in seven. We're going to find out. Yes, they will. We're going to keep two. Bugbear's good. No one drop. You can feel the ruin. All right. Well, here we go. No one drop is crazy, right? It's crazy. They have a Smoogwars Copter. Nope. Inti. Inti's good. All right. So, another Anchorage. It's interesting. It's like, leaving up no more lies. Just like telegraphs it. I'm going to play this what we want anyway. I'm just going to Anchorage so go. They play anything else that I can hit, I'll lock down. They have no blue yet either, so. Okay. They're going to insole and just walk into my uh, my lockdown. All right, sure. Got freaking four of them, you know. NT, discard a land. No card they can hit that's relevant unless they're playing Ornithopter. Exile Bushwhacker. Take eight. Eight's a lot, you know, but... All right, uh, field of ruin. Lock it down. This is a three for one. Not a land permanent, two for one, sorry. Right, even though it's a creature, it's not a, uh, it's still a land, so. Uh, buy Gigantha, that's it. That's the best you can do. Wow. All right, so. Second field of ruin. This is fun. So now we just go field, hit the bugbear, and uh, have no more lies up. Works for me. 12 life. Odawar on lockdown be cool. They play the Odawar, never mind. They're just playing Gigantha? Mm, sure. I think this game is... Uh, Close to over. I guess I am like giving them a land for uh, for a dispute or something, but I got a mountain actually, so I'm not sure. No more lies. No more. Get off my plane. All right, we want a match. Sick. I'm in. All right, round three, and we are once again are incapable of keeping a hand, but I'm all good also. Uh, we can't keep this, uh, this two lander. We, do a, I mean, we can cycle Shark Typhoon, I guess. We do have the field ruin to find white, too. And we're on the and we're on the draw, and our opponent might look at a six. I mean, it's a pretty sketchy hand, you know, and it's also like this lockdown might or might not be good. It's probably going to be good, but... Uh... All right, I talked myself into it. I'm going to keep. Tired of mulliganing. Wouldn't keep on the play, but we have cycle Shark Typhoon, worst case scenario. This is our white... Draw any like any like white. If we draw any dual land, our hands great. Any dual land or planes, our hands awesome. So we're gonna play a ugly triumph, a Abzan triumph. Land. Oh, what a slow peel. That's not a land. All right, all right. So there you go. Sun Petal Grove. What is this? Sylvan Carrier. Oh, this is like the the Niv Mizzity sort of deck or whatever, or like the Bring to Light something. Land. Field the Fred. Uh, all right, sure, I guess. Not ideal. I had a lockdown target, though. Up 
the Beanstalk. That's a hard one to beat, but Lockdown's good there, too, so. Draw a card. And a Xander's Lounge. Also on the ugly side. Psycho Shark. Deduce. How about a White Land? There we go. All right. Here's the So now we're online. Now we have the ability to uh, interact, which is cool. Then we can set up for a lockdown next turn and take the Beanstalk on the carry table. It was actually a big game, so... Island. We have five mana available. I'm going to try and bring the light, so be it. Obviously, it's annoying, so I kind of want to use this Field of Ruin. Turn on lockdown, but... Oh, the Beanstalk is the card that they uh, they really want against us, unfortunately. So, yeah, they're going to play a thing here. It sucks. They're going to play Niv-Mizzet Reborn. Uh, cannot let that one resolve. Uh, but, unfortunately, we have no choice. We have, all we have is Vetoes. All right, that's the game, I guess. Um, they're going to draw, like, a dozen cards here. So, top ten cards. They get one of each pair. Wow. They got up bricked. They only hit Helix and No More Lies and a bunch of lands. All right. Uh, sure. I mean... Let's just field them, I guess, right? So they have... This is their only red source. And one of the only blue sources. So that's a good target. Target this. Get our planes, and we'll decide if we're going to veto or not. I mean, I mean, a uh, lockdown or not. Hmm. Also, we know they have no more lies. It's important to note that they have the ability to do that. Um, let me just lock it down. Hitting this beanstalk is pretty important, too. So, let's lock it down. And hope they don't bring delay, basically. We're already behind, so it's just like trying not to uh, far, fall farther behind. Just gonna like give him a turn. If you got it, you got it. I obviously can't resolve a second nib miss it because I already have one. Their mana is kind of awkward too, so they need to have an untapped land and bring the light. I guess that's a thing. Uh sure. So they get to binding and get back their beanstalk and draw a card. Uh yeah, you can tell I haven't played Pioneer in a while, so it's fair. So while we're testing, we gotta learn. They have seven cards now. Uh, okay. I mean, we can get lost in Leyline Binding, you know, but let's see what happens here. Untap. Draw a Ganjo. Oh, boy. All right. Uh... They have a Helix and a No More Lies in hand. We can get lost the nib -Mizzet, which I'm not thrilled about. We can do it. All right, let's just do that, I guess. Play lands, they go. Intent to get lost this. We can veto when they play, or we can field them. Card's fun. All right. So they have seven cards in their hand. Jeez. Get lost. Get off my plane. Two map tokens. Can map up on their carry if they want to. Play Fable of the Mirror Breaker. It's a pretty good target for Vito, I think. So I'll just hit that right now. They have six cards left. Still kind of disgusting for us, but whatever. It is what it is. They're going to shock. Five cards left, including a Helix and a No More Lies. They have freaking Yorian, too, so... This is uh, another Fable. Yeah, we're just getting shellacked here. 
All right. Uh, they don't have no more lies up anymore. Got that going for us. Gonna map onto the goblin. Reveals chain to the rocks. Gonna bend that one. I mean, marching the binding, getting back the lockdown would be pretty awesome. That would require me to just pitch a card, which really sucks. Um, that would hit the map, the beanstalk, the goblin, and the caryatid. And uh, obviously it kills, the, it kills the goblin no matter what, even if they get it back somehow without their binding. So I could do that. It doesn't feel good, that's for sure. Otherwise, though, we're just, like, not making any progress, and they're just going and going and going, and they still have this Yorian, too. Yeah, I hate this, but we're going to do it. Um, all right. Lock it down again. Four cards in hand. They, they have a Helix, a No More Lies, and two Mystery cards. And we're kind of hoping those cards aren't good. It's really where we're at. Fire at the Fable. Discarding Ill-Timed Explosion. It's an interesting new one. Change the Rocks also. Draw two, you may discard two if you do X damage each creature, X greatest damage, greatest mana value, mana value I mean. Oh man. Up oh, the beanstalk is, uh, that is the card. That is definitely the card they want. This is bad. Nope, oh, nope. Gotta cast Bring to Light properly, and then we're gonna concede. That's it. I'm going to clown college. So they draw a card off Beanstalk and go get something unbeatable. Still have Yorian in the chamber too, like... I guess we like haven't resolved the fairy yet, which is what the deck's supposed to do. But it does feel like we're just like just so behind every game. All right, so that sucked. Um, we're gonna bring in, let's say farewell. The sharks are interesting. I like the disputes. Maybe Narset. A shark. I would say that these uh, Hollow Moonlights... Hollow Moonlight stops the Fable token. Which isn't bad, I guess. Uh, lockdown's not great. Lockdown's... Verdict's not great either. Check out the Verdicts. Like... We have farewell for a sleeper, a sleeper if we're desperate, so let's do this. I'm going to leave the Sharks out. Um, they're going to disputes and stuff, and like, probably leave Binding in too, so. Let's give this a spin. All right, uh, you're in again. Our hand is not good, but passable. We can keep this. All right, Anchorage it is. Makes it a lot better, obviously. Temple Garden. And I feel like we're cast... Oh, no. They're going to shock and say go. Interesting. Uh, sure. I think I like playing field. I think field and them just like pretty pretty high uh, high value. Hitting a triome. In the absence of not doing anything else, obviously. 
They shocked him. I said ghost. Probably have their own copy of No More Lies, I suppose. Yeah, it's a pretty easy counter. All right. Um, I like to draw some spells. I also like to draw the card Teferi. Ha! Uh, the fairy and memory dealers of a card that's a card that cards that kind of make this deck go, and we have been very, very bad at finding them. Where are they? Passage. Sure. Swamp. Uh. Unmoored ego. Uh. Okay. <laughs> they got a name Teferi, I guess? Or <laughs> never draw it anyway, right? So it's like <laughs> Neil being exactly the same as it was prior previously. Alright, yeah, sure. It's the name Teferi. Those are gone now, I guess. So now we're plus one card and plus one turn. I think it's a reasonable exchange for us, honestly. Get to resolve our Emperor and can I get a clock on? Rand sucks still, but Emperor it is. Make a token. Untap. <sighs> Make a token. This anchor just gets in. Who are we fooling, right? Like, just fire it up. Make a map. They have bring the light, they have bring the light. They would just go for it anyway. I mean, I, I drew one card they don't know about, so. Map here. Oh, Jesus. All right, you're up, friend. I mean, whatever they bring to light for, even if it's a Niv, it's kind of bad for us, but. Their hand's kind of full. It's a card of hand size, right? Not that bad. Play a triome? Sure. Sylvan Caryatid. You got me. Ley line binding. Got me again. Three cards left. Still have Yorian hanging out too. Somebody's playing a prank on me. All right. Um, with a carry to play, fielding him has almost no value. So let's just fire up the anchorage and get it in again. Should I play beach and say go? Yeah, no clue. We'll might as well uh, wrap something. Down to ten. Play beach. Stay go. Alright. Just gonna, just no fear. Must have a dispute also. Bring the light for five. You got it. Is it Niv or is it the Planeswalker? If it's Planeswalker, we can kill it. So, like, that's going on for us. If it's a Niv, it's just pure cards. They're going to get Deputy of Detention? Uh, if I get lost this, these don't go away. This is ridiculous. Five mana for a Deputy is the best thing you can do? That's absurd. I believe this works. Hopefully it does. I'm pretty sure it does. Alright. Yep. Okay. Enjoy your map tokens, friend. We got 
four lands in my hand. How about five? Um, let's map. Dovin's Veto. We're going to bend that. It's face up, so. Um. Send him a clowns. I can't believe they went for a deputy and not like Niv or something. Take five. I'm gonna play Castle Ardenvale and oh, f I don't have a land in play. That sucks. All right, that really sucks. I mean, they probably would have gone for it anyway, but like, I would like to. Oh my god, are you kidding me? What do you got this time, friend? Bring the light again. Yeah, okay, you got me. You know, they cast it last turn. I didn't counter it. Or I didn't even, like, try to counter it. I've drawn one card since then. You know, like, they would just go for it again anyway. So, might even be right just to just to uh, jam the map and just try and draw a spell next turn. They're going to get Omnath, Locus of Creation. Okay. Do they have a Fabled Passage also? Nope. This is like embarrassing. Isn't Bring Delight like their their like their like clutch key card? Shouldn't they cast that card and just win basically? Like how is it not Tybalt or Nibbiz? I just don't understand. Alright, here we go. Memory Deluge. We've drawn a spell. So you've drawn a spell. Cast Deluge. Narset Deduce. It's not ideal. Uh, I think it's just land go. Just gotta rep a, rep, rep a little bit here. Rep a little bit, draw an instep, draw two. This card's dope. Inspiration. Think twice. Best think twice ever. Play tap land for Omnath, gain four. The beatdown plan has failed. Now we're moving into a drawing spells and playing like a normal control deck plan. By Yorian. This is the best we can do here. Deduce. It's pretty cool. Uh, crack the clue. All right. Uh, untap. So they have a Yorian in their hand. Um, pretty good time for a farewell. I'm just going to Narset, I think, right? If they'll let me. They will not. Okay. Alright, so... I'm just... I want them to cast Yorian so I can just freaking farewell, so... I feel like I've given them literally infinite time at this point in the game. Map. Man, that's a little 4 4 for me. Nope. Another land. Okay, cool. Alright, so there you go. So. They play Yorian. They blink Omnath and draw a card. And I just hope I don't have a Dovid's Veto so I can farewell next turn.
I just don't understand they cast Bring to Light twice, and I'm not just like stone dead. Like I, my hands been lands most of the game, and they cast River. They resolve to Bring to Light. So it's like you said, how? That's just how are we still in the game? I don't understand. You know, and I guess Yorian. Do your thing, friend. So this Yorian is just drawing them one card off Omnath, and that's it. They have three spells in hand. That's not good. Toad's Veto, definitely a very real possibility here, but what are we going to do, you know? We're going to untap and draw. Draw Hollow Moonlight. Ah, uh, that would sick. From the Yorian. All right. Uh... How's about a farewell? We're going to say, I think I have a Daedalus in the bin. So everything, uh, enchantments, creatures, artifacts. So long, farewell. I hope that this resolves. Uh, I will pay. I'll pay, thank you. I'll pay the three. Point and, uh, I think our opponent could be playing a little better. I don't, you know, just like I feel, you, you gotta get like an inherent feeling when you're playing that your opponent's playing well or not playing well. And like our model black opponent in the first round, they, were play, they played very well. They played super crisp, super tight, played around everything, picked their spots really well. Whereas this a patch, I just feel like my opponent's not playing very well. Not to make fun of them at all. It's important to analyze the games, though. You know, here's an Omnath, sure. You know, like, if we, you know, if we're testing and we want to try to record results, I feel like you probably should have won, we should have lost this match, but we won because they, like, they could have played play better. That's an important thing to note, you know. So Omnath and uh, Shock It, but gain some life. It's fine. They got three cards in hand, four mana up. Cast another binding. Yeah, sure, whatever. It's not really the most important card in the world right now, so it's fine. Two cards left. <laughs> waka waka. This is wild. All right. Uh, I guess we're gonna deluge, right? We have four. I'm sorry, five, six, seven. Yeah, just play Lance say go. Just got Deluge. All right, just say go. Uh, all right. No veto, please. Like, how are we in this game? You know, you just got to ask yourself, like, how am I still in this game? It's like probably a good matchup, but it's just like, come on, you know? Flashback Deluge. It resolves. Cool. Uh, how about another Deluge and a Dovin's Veto? Might have finally uh, started crossing a corner here. How about a Deluge? Resolves. How about... Another deluge and a shark typhoon. Alright, untap. Are we in hard cast shark typhoon territory? Is that where we're at right now? Just ten thousand lands, a couple deluges. Farewell again. Okay. Uh Sure. Land. Hardcast Shark Typhoon. Hollow Moonlight and Shark Typhoon is pretty funny. You cast it, you get a token, but then you won't get more tokens. It's kind of cute. Alright. Just gonna say go, discarding one of my thousand lands. So say go. This game feels like something. 
So I like playing control decks. I just never really liked playing the Pioneer control deck. I don't know why. I can't tell you. I think I'm extremely unlikely to play this deck at the Pro Tour. It's very good, I think. You know, it's, my, my teammates might, might play it, but just cycle triumph. Yeah, sure. Beginning combat step. So there you go. Okay. Gotta cast memory, Taylush. Game's pretty over now. I would save your clock and go to the next game if I were you. <laughs> Maybe not. Alright, Odawar and Anchorage. Cast Hall of Moonlight. Just can trip uh, Grizzly Bear. Draw a mystical dispute. Alright, well, here come the sharks. The San Jose Sharks. And yeah. Plain anchorage. Say go. I it's it's hard to make it entertaining, folks. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, now I gotta pack it in. All right, so game three. Um, there's little bindings in, obviously. <sighs> yeah, our own seed sharks just don't seem good. It just seems too hard to ever tap out for it. Um, yeah, and again, Moonlight's pretty good against Fable. You just get to like cantrip kill the token, which is nice because you usually get to kill it anyway. So. It's kind of fun. All right. Opponent is uh, keeping seven, and we... Oh, my God. We're going to keep. We can cycle a shark to if we we're on the draw. It's ugly, but... Just like this uh, Spar's headquarters. I almost said Xander's land, so I couldn't tell what it was. All right, so... It's not a land. So you go... What is it? Like 26 lands we're playing? 27 lands. Up to Beanstalk. Not ideal. Yeah, this is a, a big play draw disparity here, too. If they can play Beanstalk before I can counter, it's pretty rough, but. Alright, draw Hollow Fountain. Um, Spell Door. Not bad. That's, that's a big pickup. So we can counter Spell or Cycle Shark Typhoon. Get our lands going here. And maybe we'll resolve it to Fairy. That'd be dope. Just like third game of third match in, you know? Alright, they do nothing. Cycle. Cool. <laughs> Found him. Alright, you're up. Scary card. Very, very scary card. Yeah, this thing is a... Uh... Pretty good engine. They shock in. Got a fable here. Got a bank buster. Uh, I think it's no more lies. They might have their own no more lies, but I can't. I should imagine veto this. This is huge. I gotta veto this. What's veto? Let's catch the sense they can't no more lies. I think this makes this makes sense. This sequence to uh for them to have no more lies and have waited till turn four to do this. So I think using veto there feels correct. Unzap. All right, shock it in. So there you go. Intent is to probably Emperor and step. I don't want to get my Deluge no more lied, so. Ugh. Oh my. That's a lot of cards. Um, We have what? Two farewells? Did we uh, bring in both? We only have one. Can't see my sideboard. Oh, there it is. Just a really small. We have both farewells in. This is fine. Not happy about it, but... Alright, let's try and fish out of No More Lies here. Pull a pressure on the board, too, because now they have this kind of crazy card draw engine, so... Alright. Veto. Even better, actually. It's cool. Finally get to do it. Here's my buddy. I'm waiting for this all day. 
Here's the fair. Resolve, draw a card. Say go. Untap two, have the counter spell up. This is the dream. We're living it right now. One mana binding, make me sad. Nope. Bank Buster. Okay. Foundry Shock. It's interesting. Uh, okay. Let's untap. And draw to deuce. Draw off this thing. Cool. I like draw land here. We do draw land. Cool. I'm going to shock us in. I'm just going to march this Bank Buster. And then untap two lands. Right? Yeah. Alright. Cast March. Do you wish to bust or nah? They do. You're gone. Get off my plane. Well, see you. The full set. Hall of Fountains. Not the nice ones, though. I get the Rab Duels. By Yorian. Sure. Obviously, pretty scary with uh, always Beanstalks in play. They can pay for a, a No More Lies, too, so... Hmm. I don't want to get my Daily Ship by No More Lies. It's like, we need to find a counter spell for the Yorian, so we kind of want to play a card draw spell, but if I play the Daily and they No More Lies, then I feel really, really sad. They need an untap land, too, I guess, but... Um, I'm just going to do it, though. They, uh, they vetoed something like, like two turns ago yeah the wandering emperor and they could have can't played no more lies they would have probably they had it so here's hollowed moonlight veto and some lands uh all right take the field of ruin and the veto which is not ideal but unzap shark typhoon i mean i don't think we're casting shark typhoon right uh, this is four, five, six. Yeah, let's cast a deduce. Get the mana back anyway. No more lies. That's okay. I should draw a card first. That's stupid. Uh, whatever. Draw an island shirt. Whatever. So this is fine. We have veto, veto, no more lies up, which is pretty damn good. I think this game's over now. Definitely night and day having to ferry and play or not having to ferry and play. You know. Like playing the full the full four to ferry might be a thing. End step lightning helix to ferry. You got it. Tickle might to ferry. And untap. And say go. Not gonna say we're locked up here, but I'm feeling pretty good about things. Cast your in. Alright, so we are going to cast a No More Lies in response to this. Before I draw their cards. They're going to play a Dovin's Veto. And I'm going to play another No More Lies. No more. We'll not have it. We don't talk about Yorian. We don't talk about Yorian. Officer oh, fucking idiot. <laughs> I'm so dumb. I just obviously I should I I need to I meant to target the Yorian, not the not the veto itself. Okay, well now we're gonna lose because I just I punted. You can all laugh at me on the internet, that's fine. That's really, really frustrating. Uh, all right, yeah, I guess. 
yeah, I mean, we can find a, a what's it called? A mystical dispute. I mean, no justice in the world if find a mystical dispute there. All right, yeah, uh, I mean, we could still win, obviously, but that's really, really annoying. Obviously, you do have Dovin Veto, can't be countered. Men's target, the Yorian, not the Dovin's Veto, but can't be countered. All right, just gonna keep on keeping on. The beans come back, and now they've got seven cards, six cards. All right. I might time out here, honestly, but Anchorage. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my fucking god, are you kidding me? I didn't hit this. I feel like Magic Online just, like, lulls me to sleep. I just, like, can't play Magic Online anymore. Like, I just, it just... I definitely didn't hit, didn't hit, didn't hit six that time. Well, I F6 my entire turn. Didn't plus my Teferi. Which is obviously relevant here, so now it's gonna die. Yeah, whatever. My time out. God, it's so annoying. Here's a shark. Or in a lightning helix or something. What's this? Cycle like, Triumph, sure. Bruno says it looks like rain. All right, well, somehow that worked. Bank Buster, sure. Man, we still win this game. I mean, this has been like a comedy. All right, that's a pretty good draw. Uh, draw a card off the uh, Teferi. It's a Hollowed Moonlight. Okay. Let's get dig through time. Not exiling Memory Deluge. Uh, that's kind of awkward. We just, like, didn't find an answer to Yorian. Um, we got Narset. And, I guess the Deuce, yeah. Put those back. Let's cast Narset. Minus. All right. Uh, still not there yet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 mana. No More Lies is... Yes, Deluge is better. Take Deluge. And we're going to untap two lands here. Just play Anchorage. And we say go. Kind of annoying, honestly. I wanted to keep this Narset alive. All right. It's unbelievable that we've like, we've seen like 15 cards last turn. We still can't find a way to keep his Narset alive. I could play to deuce and like try and, nah, I'm not going to do that. All right, whatever, fine. You got the Narset. Because Narset, Narset is like the perfect answer to these Beanstalks. You know, it's insane, so... Alright. Nars is great. No more Narsets. They're gonna time out. It's also a thing that scares me off playing this deck at the Pro Tour is that uh, the clock is a very real issue. Sylvan Carriative Resolves. Fuck. I misclicked again. What did I do? That's... <sighs> Whatever. Alright, it's fine. Um... Get lost. Now, nah, we were one card short. Draw a card. All right. Play a land. Uh, I mean, we're just going to get lost. This stupid Yorian now. Guess what? Three vetoes already? 
No more lies. I will pay the mana you asked me to pay. I'll pay for it again. But, but why would they? Okay, sure. All right, so uh, that's all four vetoes from them. And now we're just going to untap some lands, right? Yeah, they got to... Sure, it's fun. Like, they have to win the game. They draw all four vetoes. I F6 my turn, like, twice. Like, it was once, but... The one end step, I, I missed, actually, I missed the call, so, but... Ill-timed explosion. Draw two, you may discard two. Yeah, sure. I'm going to deduce. Sure. All right. The ferret takes a hit. Whatever. You got me. If you guess what? One no more lies. Only one. They bring to light. We Dovin's veto. They have Nim Mizzet Reborn. That's actually kind of a problem. Uh, let's draw a card response. It's funny, if I kept the No More Lies, that would have worked. All right, that sucks. Uh, sure. Just cast this, I guess. And F6. Draw Farewell, cool. That works for me. See what they get. Escape the wilds and no more lies. Unzap. Draw. Draw. Um. Yeah, let's just cast our farewell. Everything but graveyards. Yeah, it works for me. So, I mean, I think our opponent could play better, but holy god, what a what a indictment of the matchup, right? Like we have six our turn. We like. We, you know, I mean, we still we still won somehow. There was off two beanstalks. Like, holy moly! Warden of the Inner Sky. We get the Hollow Moonlight, a uh, a demolition here. That'd be cool. No more lies. All right, very important die roll here. This foil is weird. Novice Inspector. <laughs>scry sure they don't land the game's over like sure now i have no more lies and we light up and turn for wrath yeah i should do it sacred foundry thalia guardian of thraven no more lies Shh. your lips are moving your lips are moving. <laughs> Do it again, sure. Scribe bottom. Anchorage, go. All right, uh, take four, first blood. Nothing? 
Not even by Gigantha. She's got a cycle of us. All right, untap and just gonna play Lance and go. I think. I don't play raise the alarms. Do they? Like, what's what's going on here? Crack the clue. Huh. Alright. Sure. Combat. Coming in. Voldaren Epicure. Man, this game has felt uh, a little on the easy side. I was going to play on Trap Blast, then I don't know about it. Be weird to play Thalia and Trap Blast, though, right? Uh, March, no more lies or land? Not the March, I think. Eh, maybe not. I feel like a Convoke threat is the scariest thing, even though, honestly. All right, let's take a land and... I think it's the March. We're in a Wrath, obviously, so... It is time to Wrath. Field of Ruin, sure. Goodbye. Get off my complaint, etc., etc. So you get nothing! Alright, they have reinforcements. So they do have a, uh, they did have, the, did have a raise the alarm. Um, which is fine. Could have maybe marched the token there, try and get them off of it, but... Here's the inspector. Well, here's another clue for you all. Just dreaming about temporary lockdown, obviously. Oh, all right. Uh, sure. Good setup. This is a lot, but sure. Two, four, six, eight. Hmm. I don't think we could have, like, played this much differently, honestly. Wish I had that No More Lies, sort of. Dig's pretty cool. I mean, they have no cards in their hand. They have two clues and a blood. So, like, we're going to Wrath here, obviously, and just, like, hope they don't rip out on us. Verdict, go. Uh, we have N-Step, Dig. We lose a Deluge, but I think it's still worth it. Um, so we need to we need to turn this corner now at two life, so... You know, we're dead to an Eminence Recruiter or something. So they're going to Blood first. Be a little more mana efficient. Crack a clue. L E the clues. Bugbear plays, but I have a field, obviously, so it's fine. All right, let's dig through time. We'll just ship this for this deluge, whatever. Even though deluge anyway, so dig through time. Blue, blue. We see Emperor Lockdown to Ferry Veto. Um, I mean, to ferry into untap. It's quite good. Wandering Emperor or Veto. Veto stops some stuff. Not a lot of stuff. It's cheap, though. It's the important part. So I want to go to ferry. Uh, I'm going to go to ferry. Land untapped to a four mana available. So I'll veto plus. I could field and veto. That's pretty good. Let's do that. All right, so any order. And plates fairy. Plus it. We have the Ganjo too, so they have the things like play a recruiter. Maybe like we should wait should wait one turn at the ferry. Could have like left up Shark Typhoon Veto a Ganjo or something like that. And and field. I don't know. All 
All right, so beach. Untap two. Say go. One inspector. We got a little Loxodon action here? All right. Hopefully it's locked. It's a Night Errant. That's annoying. So Night Errant can find the Epicures and kill us. They've already cast one, but uh, we can't counter this. This is fine, I guess. So they're in a Knight. Top six. Can only find one drops, so no Imidane's recruiters. Inspector Epicure. Oh, come on, man. All right. We're one. Uh, I can tuck and field the knight. Probably make a shark here, honestly. Let's get things in play. I really, oh, that was that was that was a huge pickup. All right, that that's a big one. Uh, all right. Untap, draw. Yeah, huge pickup. The two life from the Emperor is like actually just bonkers. To the point where like I almost want to just play it right now and guarantee the two life. We'll just tuck this, have a shark, and have a Ganjo plus Deluge plus Field of Ruin. Um It's four mana, and then I have two and two left. Two to field. And then I have a Vito or a Ganjo. That plays well. So let's go. Um play Emperor. I tap the field. I'm a freaking idiot. <laughs> Whatever. I'll freaking plus this then, I guess. I was pretty happy talking to me again, Joe, but I guess I have like... Nah, shit. God damn it. Stupid. Alright, so annoying, but fine. Uh, yeah, so... No attacks... Untap two. We have Anchorage, Ganjo, Dovid's Veto, and three life, much better than one life. Not out of the woods yet, but. Make a little noise here, huh? Come on, I can't hear you! All right, four blocks. We'll, uh, again, Joe. They have a thing that makes tokens next turn. It's a little annoying, but, like, I think we're fine at this point. So, play Thalia, sure. That's fine. No worries there. No more lies, huh? I think we just... Counter, Tuck, Thalia, say go. You're up. I think we're about to turn that old corner. Convoking. 
Ravens. Uh, prime target. No more lies. Better than make disappear. Heard it here first. Crack the clue. Yeah, I think we're I think we're done here, folks. Get lost. All right, cool. Opponent agrees. All right. And now I have to have four lockdowns post board too. Holy moly! All right, so lockdowns are in. Uh, that's it. But farewell, maybe two. Let's see, farewell, maybe two. Uh, Hollow moonlight. It's only good against the the gleeful spell. They lose to Deuce. Not really a good Deuce matchup, I feel like. Kind of slow. Dig Through Time also might be kind of slow. Maybe Deuce is better. Shark Typhoon, Emperor of Four Lockdowns. Farewell. Sharks are... Yeah, Sharks not good. Yeah, I don't think a Dig's going to be on early enough. It's fine. Let's do this. What's up, friend? I said in chat, can't beat the first... Or can, I'm sorry. Can, can beat the first super, never the second. That's what they said in chat. That's their, uh, their analysis of the matchup. Seems fairly accurate to me. All right, uh, game two. I'm I'm dumb. I should have cut these. Should have cut a few these vetoes. That was stupid. Um, it's not great, honestly. They have like the stones here, but I'm gonna keep it and be kind of sad about it. Yeah, I think like one veto is fine, but I should have left, left the moonlight in and cut the vetoes. Probably, yeah. Uh, they just like forget Gigant the last game. I feel like it should have come up at some point, right? Maybe they played it and we just wrathed it. I don't remember, honestly. It all blurs together. Planes. You got it. And I'll find you. No, you won't. Clue. Investigate. Resolves. My turn. One temporary lockdown. Oh my god. Bingo! All right. I said one. We are, we are playing four copies of this card for a reason, you know? We're not even playing Yori either. It's just freaking... All right, they, they draw... And Thalia's pretty good. Thalia, respect for Thalia. Um, get lost. Plays too. So you can potentially get lost, Thalia. Set up for turn three, or next turn four, lockdown, or maybe verdict. Thalia's good, but it's not like part of their like really busted starts. Epicure. Tap two. Inspector. All right, now they're doing it. Is it a Loxodon or is it a Knight? Neither is the answer. Okay. Sure. How about a Plains? Sure. Say go. We got Veto or we got Get Lost. Honestly, Lockdown's better than the Verge here anyway because it gets all the clues too. So we'd love that they cast a sort of spell here. Like like the anthem or something like that. We could just like veto it, untap, and uh, lock down and put this thing away. They're gonna cast Imidane's Recruiter. That's pretty good. Uh, that's pretty good. We are uh, gonna kill Vestalia and take a lot of damage. Kill Vestalia and then uh, take eleven. Go to four. And just fire up his lock. A lockdown won't kill the recruiter, actually. All right, so yeah, we'll just play Verdict. They can't utilize all these things anyway, so just play land, play Verdict. Um, stupid. God, give me an auto-tapper, please. God, give me an auto 
ever. So next time we veto, or next time we lock down, just show, like, we'll destroy all of these. They can use like one or two of them, but like we're gonna get most of them. So a lot of junk in play. Crack a clue. Inspector. I think it's still worth casting lockdown here, honestly. With farewell in the chamber too. Yeah, they, oh, they got a shock. And map. Top cards battle and forge. They have a forge and a mystery card in end. So I'll have too, which is kinda of hanging out. Uh, untap and draw a veto. Alright, let's lock it down. Goodbye tokens. And then we ain't shocking here, so let's just say go. Their hand is Battlefit Forge and two unknowns. One drop recruiter kills us. Suck, but is what it is. Invasion of Gobakan. Yo Gabba Gabba. Sure. Probably choose Farewell here and make it almost uncastable. Choose Wandering Emperor. Interesting. Play Battlefield Forge. Will they buy Gigantha? They will not buy it. I think they just forgot Gigantha. Yeah. I'm going to forget it too. Out of sight, out of mind, you know? All right, we have Anchorage. They have one card. It's hmm, interesting. So we are like dead to a uh, like a haster and like something else. Okay. <laughs> so like attacking with Anchorage is probably just necessary. You can just chill, but sure, that works too. All right, match five. Hands good. Bo Seju? Alright. Works for me. Alright. Like Beach, say go. Oh, that was a Tron land. Ah, uh, we got some Lotus Field. Alright. Uh, that's probably kind of tough for us given the context of our hand. We freaking get lost, Supreme Verdict. They're gonna get a thespian stage. All right, that's a lot of stinkers. Yeah. All right, let's um, just play a Miscate Path Pavilion. Say go. Plan cycling this Hollow Moonlight. Yeah, that's uh, not ideal. Um, Hollow Moonlight. Draw a Ganjo. Dig through time. Not loving it. I'm definitely not loving it. All right. I mean, they have all the time in the world, so I have no pressure. But they just, like, have a good draw anyway, so. I feel like they should just do it in case I have a, if I draw Field of Ruin. Oh, there you go. All right, so they stage, do a thing. No more lies. Unless they get like really frisky here, which they have literally no reason to do, I think we're in some big trouble. Vizier of Tumbling Sands. All right. Starting her up. Unzap the permanent. Draw a card. Make a mana. Play a stage. Seven mana. Pour over pages with three mana available. That's a good number to have, right? I just gotta lies it. Yeah? Alright. No more lies. They pay. We just counter it again. And just don't really have much to do beyond this, but just is what it is. Can't allow them to draw three cards and make a uh, six mana, so. Hmm. Good thing I got the Supreme Verdict. I think it wasn't even necessary to go for it there, you know? What's the rush?
They gotta figure it out. They gotta figure it out. I'm gonna eat my, my gummy bears and we're gonna sit here and chill. Make a little noise here, huh? I think land's more important than the what the wandering emperor is. Making land up is the most important thing here, so I can keep drawing cards and making my uh, leave my counters up. Beer's, beer's a good hit. That's a big one, obviously. On tap, another freaking verdict. Uh, say go. I mean, now we have a deluge and a veto. Just you know, we're starting to get somewhere. End step, arch druid's tarm. Search for a creature or land card. Reveal it. Put it in the battlefield. Tap. It's a land card. Otherwise, put it in your hands. Okay. They get Leer, Disciple of the Drowned. Uh, okay, so I can't counter that, but I can just get lost it. So they just made my get lost live. That's fun. Once they play it, though, they can play... I guess just Charm. I don't really have much else going on, so... Not going anywhere for a while. Lear. That's going to resolve. So, instant source cards are flashbacks. They have Scrying, Vizier, Charm. They can cast Sylvan Scrying. We are going to get lost to Lear in response. They're going to cast Charm. Okay, it's going to resolve. They have two layers. Get a Vizier. Sure. Lear, you're out of here. Sylvan Scrying. Gets an Odawara. Alright, so they have a Vizier and an Odawara in hand. And they're saying go again. I feel like they've made this game exceedingly difficult on themselves. Like, guess they lose. Teferi, Field of Ruin. Sure. They can bounce it with Odoar, obviously, but... Alright, untap. <laughs> can lock on the map tokens, it's cute. Alright, so we'll just go, uh, you, 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 you. Play to fairy, plus it. And say go. Not repping double veto or whatever, but. Cycle Vizier. Unzap. I'm gonna finish this damn tube of gun bears before this match is over.
That's not good. All right, so they're gonna try and Balagan recovery their Leer. We need to veto this because once they play the Leer, they get Odawara back to their hand in response to removal spell. Also, yeah, we just gotta. It's like we, they play Leer, we try and march it. They just Odawara it. Yeah, we just gotta veto this. This sucks, but it sucks really bad. But all right, and now we can have six. <laughs> Shouldn't actually have six. They play a Leer with not much mana up. I can march it. Just dump my whole hand. Obviously, all these cards are worthless, so. Discarding a old border of Boreal Razor. Nice. Red, red, red. Blue, blue, blue. And then Mizzet? Chandra Hope's Beacon. Uh, okay. Plot thickens. They're gonna cast hidden strings. They're gonna copy it. I'm just gonna march the Chandra, I guess, right? Oh, you can't march Chandra. It's not freaking planeswalkers. All right, so uh, sure. I mean, that should probably do it, right? This is like a thousand mana. Copies all spells. You can go to the next game. That's fine. All right, so we got what do we got here? Shark Typhoon, Summer Dismissal, Narset, Disputes, Sharks, Reversal. Uh, yep. And we're gonna take out uh, our uh, probably all we get lost. Let's see. Moonlight, Lockdown, Farewell. Supreme Verdict. Might be bringing in some sort of like stupid like Dramoka or some big idiot kind of card. So you want to leave in like a few verdicts. Um, March pretty bad too. Yeah. Um, Even been like one verdict maybe to go find eh two is reasonable sharks all moonlight is nothing march doesn't really do anything Leave it a moonlight, I guess. Sure, let's try this. Now we had uh, a couple counter spells. Reversal's pretty cool. Reversaling a uh, poor page is kind of nice. So. I'll play. <laughs> alright, uh, Mulligan. Uh, alright, Mulligan again, I guess. Not ideal. We're on five, they're on seven. Alright, keep this. I think it's probably just dig land. Yeah. All right. Uh, don't love it. <laughs> Sanctuary. 
I'm just gonna shock this in. Life totals irrelevant. Like makes Ardvale untapped. Just like whatever. Better than like shocking it in later. I feel like shocking it later is a little more obvious. So nothing, huh? Deduce. Clues, clues, clues. Uh, and that. Beechin. Mm -hmm. Five card hand. This could be worse, right? They also just didn't do anything. Lotus Field. You got me. Okay. Seed Shark. They are extremely unlikely to kill me next turn. I'm just jamming the shark. Before they can dispute it or something like that. Go. You can kill me. I tip my hat to you. Possible. It's not like impossible or whatever, but very, very difficult for a Lotus Field kill player to kill off of one Lotus Field and play. Stamp, double stamp. You can't double stamp a double stamp, Lord. We're out of gummies. We're out of gummies. Sanctum. Granted. There are a lot of nasty cards they can get here. Red Chandra, Thought Distortion. A lot of scary ones. So uh, I think the onus is on us to, uh, to get moving here. Not that we do that very well, but... Are you kidding me? Path of Peril is the best you can do? <laughs> Those are players tutoring in this league. It's getting like a card that's not even good every time. All right, sure. Um, yeah, I'll attack you for two, I guess. God forbid I get Path of Peril. Uh, all right, and then we'll just play this and say go. Get my Arden Veil on. Like... Thought Distortion, Chandra, like. I'm gonna cast the Fate, which is. It's fun. Does block pretty well, actually, so. Alright. Untap. Another veto. This thing costs two. That's actually kind of sick. If they block and you go to the bounce, and they're not going to bounce. That doesn't make any sense. Like in combat, they wouldn't bounce it because of the Ganjo. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. If I got to kill it, those bounce in response, so. Uh, Alright, there you go. The one four is kind of kind of gumming up the works here a little bit. If you're also watching the video at this point, kudos to you. Leave me a comment in the chat. Let me know, hey, I'm one of the ones who's, who's still watching. Say say the code word banana. All right, the code word is banana. You put banana in the comments and I'll know that you're still here two hours into this video. I think these Magic Online videos are a freaking bore, but I gotta practice. 
Lotus Field number two. Sure. I wish we had a freaking dig or something, you know. Code word banana. It's a good draw. It's a good draw. Got him. Play Yandra. Say go. Yeah. I think we're like pretty good shape this game, honestly. Barring a thought distortion, obviously. Which would be game over if they if they went and got it, if they had it. Uh, I assume they do. I don't know what's going on, so. Hidden strings. Okay. It's a lot of mana, but like we have two vetoes, so. They can cipher. They have to cipher? You may exile a card. Encoded on a creature you control. What a mechanic. Cipher. Surprised that one hasn't come back yet, right? Dark petition. That's a no no. That, that's not that's not gonna happen. No go on that one, sorry. Shark time. Narset's reversal. So this wants to copy. Target instant or sorcery spell, then return it to its owner's hand. And they are targeting the petition. Right, okay. So we're just going to... And they have two mana, if four mana left. We're going to veto petition again. It's a good stack. All right, uh, great success. We kind of burned our load there a little bit, but uh, I mean, they got four cards left. Wasted a hidden strings too, so. Oh, that's a card. All right, uh, let's stack. Exile all other spells and counter all other abilities. This is the counter Emrakul card. Or Ulamog from back in the day. Alright, they're gonna Vizier Tumbling Sands, you got it. Okay. Nine mana. Surveil. Banana folks. Where's my banana clan at? Huh? I'm 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 bored playing it, you know, like white, 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 blue, black, black, hard cast path of peril. Resolves. <laughs> Alright. Uh end step, cast memory deluge. Reversal. I guess no more lies. Some more counter spells. Kinda wanna land, but I think it's fine. Four, two. Yeah, I should land actually. I can't cast all of these, so I need to draw land, obviously, so draw land. Attack for two. We have eight clock. It's not a good clock, but it is eight clock. I mean, this is a pretty hard hand to beat, I feel like. Barring again, barring thought distortion. Dragonlord Dramoka can't be countered. Flying lifelink. Well, 
How about we uh, summarily dismiss that one? Hmm? Class dismissed. <laughs> you get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. All right. That's that. What are you arguing for, like, narcissist reversing my own dismissal to, keep, dismissal to keep a dismissal in my hand? Five mana. Four mana. Three mana. Recovery targeting hidden strings? Yeah, whatever, sure. It's like not even mana positive, is it? It's, it's one mana positive. So it's five mana to make six mana. Okay. Um, different cards. All the card cards are different names. Exile them. Don't choose one of those cards. Shuffle the cards in your library. Maybe ask the cards that way. Reversal this, right? Like, it's kind of gas. Oh, oops. It's like bounce it, and then I get one. I'm gonna get uh so I get to cast two of these. Um Shark Emperor Dig Through Time probably. Works for me. Shark and Emperor are lethal, I believe. So that to give me a dig and a threat. That's awesome. <laughs> that was a cool game. I feel like my opponent just didn't need to play nearly that aggressively at all. Uh, I guess that's a game I, I learned over clock, but like, I don't know. The path of barrel was just so weird. Dude, like, how, how do you how do you not have Thought Source on your sideboard? You know, I just don't understand. But sure. One more game it is. I can go have some dinner. He's pre. For those who don't know how these work, folks, I'll, I'll, my, my banana clam, we'll, we'll talk a little bit. This is what I gotta do whenever I leave for a pro tour. You see this? I gotta. I have ten days of content I had to bank up, and you're watching. Uh, you're watching this on Friday, twenty third. That's when it went up. Is that was the plan, right? So, there you go. Hands good. Keep. Well, the five back game too. Holy shit. Temp Temple of Mystery. What? They're playing four of the other Skyland. Whatever, sure. All right, you're up, friend. Guess so, I guess so. Keep it on top, sure. No. Uh, no more lies. Do they have it anyway? They do not. Ooh. Okay. Probably should shock every time this matchup, but whatever. Wow. No, a no Lotus Field hand. Wow. That was risky, just leaving it all on a skill that's trying. Oh, they have Charm. Okay, that's cool. It's charm changes, the, changes the, the, the dynamic a little bit. That's pretty good. Um. Okay. Sharken. I would say it's unlikely they can kill me next turn. So I'm reasonably inclined to just cast a shark. Yeah, man. They could kill me for sure, but it's just like they have four cards in their hand. They don't have that much mana. Usually, you want two fields to play to combo. They had like, I guess, Despian stage, make it a field, and a uh, hidden strings, but 
Go nuts. Kill me. Here's hidden strings. Poor pages. Maybe this is wrong. I don't know. Maybe I'm being a little too... You know, we, we could have just waited a turn, you know? Like, it wasn't like we are It's like two damage or whatever. Obviously, getting to untap with the shark play is awesome, but... Definitely would it definitely required a lot of hidden strings to uh, to go off. What's ultimatum? It's black, green, blue. It's green, green. It's green's the main color, I think. I think they might just have us here if they have it. Yeah, all right. They got all of it. I guess they got all of it. Maybe I'm wrong. They're gonna reversal their own hidden strings. That's adorable. All right, I guess I just punted. I just didn't really respect the fact that they could do this with any reliability on this turn. I felt like they needed, usually, usually they need to have two Lotus Fields in play to kind of really go for it, but all right, that's fine. That's on me. Uh, don't know how this game would have went because they had they had the reversal in their hand. Reversal is really, really good against us, and we had no pressure at all, so I don't know. We'll take the L, I guess. Petition, Omniscience, and Behold of On, discard your hand, search for three cards, put them in your shuffle. Uh, I guess I can't get the Omniscience, so... Sure, whatever. So she gives them black mana. Hidden strings. Ultimatum again. Okay. Omniscience, Leer, or Pour Over Pages. Um, I give them Leer, we just lose. Alright, whatever, sure. Hopefully this is not good enough. We, we punted. I mean, like, obviously you might have still lost, but um, it wasn't necessary to catch a shark there. That was just stupid, I guess. Whatever, it's fine. All right, so went three and two. I would really, really be unhappy if I was playing this deck at the Pro Tour, honestly. I think it's fine. I don't think it's terrible, but uh, it just doesn't... It's one of the most targeted decks. Everyone knows it's, like, one of the best decks. It's exploitable in a lot of different ways, I feel like. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Thought Distortion, Six Mana Chandra, Cavern of Souls, just like playing well, you know, like it's exploitable both in gameplay and in deck building. 
uh, and it's just like hard to play. No, I, you know, I want to play like the, you know, in, in a pro tour, like it can make some oomph, you know, I don't even sitting down against freaking Reed in round four and be like, all right, let's play a 90 minute control mirror, Reed. Cool. That sounds like a lot of fun, you know? So, um, <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, if all the team wants to play it, and then the deck is obviously the best deck, sure, but like, I would not be happy playing it. So, YouTube folks, I'll be like, comment, subscribe, banana squad, you're all great. And, uh, that's it. I'm out.